Welcome back to Joker Class and now we're looking at PSRE last mini revision for set number K. So let's look at our first question here from Nanhua Paper 1, question 15. So this question here says that a sheet of paper in the shape of an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. Now I know that this length and this length are actually the same. And here say that it is folded along the dotted line BD as shown below. Find angle X. Angle X is given here. So now if this paper is folded downwards, um, I actually can kind of just draw like this just to show what actually happens. So here is also A. Lah, okay. So if here 16, if here 80, so of course here will be what? 80 as well. Okay. And now if I have to put it in this way, I think you can see very clearly that this is actually a what? A triangle, right? So here, like this, like this. So what is the angle here? Angle here will be 180 minus 16 minus um, 80 we give you 84 here is 84 and if I want to find x here again there is actually a straight line lah. I'm not drawing it nicely but if it's a straight line 180 I just need to minus what 84 and that will give me 96 so in simple x is actually 96 and of course if you are smart enough you should notice that this plus this should give you x lah. okay so that will be answer option number three let's move on to the next question from nanyang paper two question two now for the first hour or less two dollar and seventy cent for every additional half an hour or less you are supposed to pay one dollar and twenty cent now, Raisha parked her car from 8.15 to 11 on Tuesday. How much she have to pay? So, uh, I think we can just try to use a uh, timeline. So, 8.15 to 9.15 p.m. will be the first hour. And the first hour, you will require to pay $2.70. Okay? And 9.15 to 11 p.m., if you look carefully, this is actually around 1 hour and 45 minutes. And you know that every additional half an hour or less, you are required to pay 120. So, 1 hour, you know that there's half an hour and half an hour. 45 minutes, you know there's half an hour and 15 minutes. Or you can say a quarter also can. And how many here? Of this requirement four so I have four one dollar and twenty cent that I need to pay which is four dollar and eighty cent and the same thing of course you need to add this and this together so two dollar and seventy cent plus four dollar and eighty cent this is a seven dollar and fifty cents to be paid here Okay, <clears throat> of course, um, you can just use 1 hour 45, divide by half, then get the remainder also can, okay? But this is basically a very uh, visual way of presenting everything clearly for you. But of course, if the duration becomes longer, you will not choose to do it in this way because that will be taking more time, okay? So let's move on to our next question. Okay, our next question is from Nanyang paper 2, question number 7. Now, this question here says that um, EFG are two-digit number. And as you know, two-digit number means what? Means something like 10, 11, 12, 58, 97. These are all two-digit number. The average of these three number is 46. So, if I know the average is 46, then of course I will do what? I will multiply by 3. And 46 multiplied by 3 should give you 138. So I know that E plus F plus G is 138. But the question here says what? The value of E is actually 26. Oh, so I know that this is 26. 
and the value of f is seven times the value of g. Means that this is seven unit and this is one unit. So what I will do is I'll use one three eight minus twenty six. Means that that will be um one one two and this belongs to f and g add together. And f g seven unit one is one unit so add together is what eight unit. So 112, if I divide by 8, I know 1 unit is actually 14. And 14 is actually 1 unit. And now I need to look for what? F. So I just use 14 times 7, which is 98. Okay, that's all. That is my question and my answer. Okay, so let's look at our next question. Which is from Nanyang Paper 2, question 8. Okay, <clears throat> not a difficult question for part A. Perhaps it's just one mark. But let's look at this question. The amount of Bala, money Bala had was 60% that of aliens. Again, I will strongly recommend you just to change this into what? Fraction. 60 over 100 means what? 3 out of 5. This means that Bala have 3 unit. Alien actually have how many unit? 5 unit. And they tell us that Alien have $52. How much did Bala have? So 52 uh, 52, sorry. 52 divided by 5, which is 5 unit here, at times 3. That the $1.20. That is the amount that Bala have. Okay, nothing tricky here. But the interesting part actually move to be part B. Now, <clears throat> here says what? After receiving some money from his mother, Bala's amount of money increased by 20%. So this is a... Uh, this is Bala's amount, right? 31, 20. So increase by 20%. So what is actually <clears throat> the amount that increase? Or perhaps what is the uh, the final amount? So 31, 20 times increase by 20%, right? Mine means that the, now the percentage is 120%. So times 120 divided by 100 means that now Bala actually have $37.44. <clears throat> now, what happened is, here the question says, well, this is the interesting part, huh? by what percentage must Alien's money decrease so that they have the same amount of money? Now, Bal uh, Alien now have how much? 52. Alien have $52. Now, they want you to go and decrease becoming 37.44. So I need to find an amount of decrease, then I need to find out the percentage, right? And again, this is basically the percentage decrease. And again, percentage decrease means the formula is what? Decrease in amount divided by original amount times 100%. What's my decrease in amount? 52 minus 37.44. If you press on your calculator, you should get a 14.56. And 14.56 divide by my original amount, which is 52, and times 100%. And you should get 28%. That is the amount that you have to decrease so that you have the same amount of money as Bala after receiving the money from his mother. Okay, um, not very difficult, but it requires your knowledge on this uh, percentage decrease. Okay, and let's move on to our next question. The same also again from Nanyang, but this is a paper 2, question 9 question. Okay, <clears throat> let's solve this question together. Mutu paid $18.50 for a total of 20 curry puff and sandwiches. He paid 50 cents more for each sandwich than each curry puff 
and Mutu bought 10 more curry puff than sandwiches. How much did he pay for each sandwich? Let, let's try to arrange our information a bit nicer. I have curry puff. I have sandwiches. And since we're talking about money, talking about the number, I think I will can put this in a number and value concept way. Yeah, I have 20 curry puff. Okay. And six uh he paid $50 more for each sandwich. So here I know here is 50 more than this. Let me just put the color. I know this and this will be the same. And Mutu bought 10 more curry puff than sandwiches. Means that I have 10 here more than this. And again, I know that this and this will be the same. How much did he pay for each sandwiches? Ah, so the first thing we can do is what? Here is 20, right? This plus this plus this is 20. So if I were to find out what is the green color part, I just need to do what? 20 minus 10 divided by 2. So I know it's 5. So here is 5. Here is 5. So I know basically here is actually what? 15. I know here is actually what? 5. Okay, I, I, it might sound a bit confusing if I draw like this. Maybe I'll just straight away just write here 15. This is 5. So if I were to put this as unit, this is unit, so what would be the total cost here? 15 times u, 15 u. 5 times u, 5 u. 5 times 0 0.50, $2.50. And again, the total cost that he has to pay is what? $18.50. So I know what? I know this plus this equal to this. So 15 plus 5, 20 unit. 250, if I move there, will become minus. So 850 minus 250 gives me 16. And I know 1 unit is equal to 16 divided by 20, which is 80 cents. How much did he pay for each sandwich? Each sandwich costs what? U plus 0 0.50. So U is what? 0 0.8, right? Plus 0 0.5 means that the cost for each sandwich is $1.30. That's it, you are done. Okay, there is again a number and value concept here. So, let's move on to our next part of the question. And I think that will mark the end of this paper. Okay. Okay, our next and last question will be from Nanhua Paper 2, question 12. Okay, let's look at this question together. The figure is made out of two identical parallelogram, ABCD and CFGH. So ABCD and CFGH. Now, um, a very important keyword here is the word identical. Okay, again, I repeat the word identical here will be extremely important. Okay, it means that they are two same parallelogram, but the orientation can be a bit slightly different. Okay, now, and another keyword here is what? ABD, ABD is twice the size of DBC, DBC. Let me just try here. The here is twice the size here. It means that if here is two unit, here will be one unit. Okay. Now, I need to do the first thing, which is to find angle BDC. BDC means here, right? Means here means the two unit, lah. okay? Because this is a Z shape, right? I know that this part, let me just draw it. This is a Z shape. Okay, so that's why I know here. So how do I first find, what is the angle here, the whole thing here? I know I can use what, 180 minus 54, right? Because this is how I look for the angle here. I know here plus here is 180. 
But since I have three units here, so I just divide by three. Then I kind of find out one unit is equal to one. And you should know one unit is equal to, press the calculator, you should get 42. Since I know here is 42 degree. And how about two unit here? Times two. 84 degree. So I know the answer for pi A is 84 degree. So here's 84 degree. And of course, don't forget the key idea. <clears throat> the key idea here, which is um uh, here equivalent to here. Okay, now the next part that I need to find is angle. Let me just see CDF. Let me just write here as CDF. Okay, find angle CDF. Now the next part where I need to do is I need to find what is angle CDF, which is here. Now very important. I know this identical, so I know here and here will be the same. So I know that. I just need to find here, then I minus the whole thing, I divide by 2, which gives me here. But the problem here is, how can I find what is the angle here? And this requires your knowledge again. On this part, can you see the word identical? Means that this parallelogram, if it looks like this, okay, like this, supposed to be it will still be the same in terms of the angle. So, look at here. This parallelogram now is this part. Means that if here, here is 54, here is 54, means that here and here will still be 54. Means that, means that again, this part is actually 54 degree. This part also 54 degree. And now, if you look carefully, now you actually have gotten the very, very important idea here. Can you see here? This is a triangle. How to find CDF? Again, 180 minus 60 minus 54, which is the whole angle here. Then I just need to divide by. Then that gives you 33 degree, and which is the angle here. That's why I, I mean, keep on mentioning that the, the word identical here is actually very important. Because some of you may get tricked by using, oh, this is a straight line, 180 minus 54 minus 60. Then I got an angle here. No, 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 this is not a straight line. They didn't say BCF is a straight line. No, the question did not use the word. Okay, so do not assume that it's a straight line. Okay, yes, and... Finally, that marks the end for our set number K. Perhaps this is not a very difficult paper, and it's, but it's still worth again for us to discuss a bit and try to revise the knowledge that we have learned. Again, all the best for your PSLE and thank you. See you. Bye-bye.